please excuse the look today. Uh, Steven just got back and we've got a lot of errands to do today. We're talking grocery shopping, going to the dump, taking the dogs on a walk to get them nice and tired. So we're just jumping into it today. I haven't even had a chance to do anything here. So, so I'm gonna get the footage that I plan on using for the cinematic vlogging now and I will talk to you guys later. We are out at Hovinder Park. <laughs> it's a nice little park to walk the dogs. There's trails. There's also a lot of cool scenery to see. That barn back behind me. There's also a tower. There's ducks, there's geese, rabbits. It's just a fun place to get a lot of footage that hopefully will showcase how fun a dog walk can be. And then I can kind of add my own cinematic twist to it, hopefully. Just one road to take. I cannot express how much I needed this. Uh, just some time out with the family, outdoors, enjoying the beautiful scenery. I, I was really going through it last week. Like I filmed the entire week, but it was very disjointed because just like a whole bunch of series of unfortunate events just kept happening. And when I went to edit it, there was not a cohesive storyline I could tell. And I kept trying to force it to happen but because it was just so chaotic and I wasn't feeling it I, I quickly realized I needed to just get out a video dump what I could into it which is unfortunate that I made a video that I'm not proud of but it happens but even though I love the idea of a fall cinematic vlog just the events around it was forcing me to realize that sometimes you just have to like scrap the whole idea it's not working I kept trying to fit a square peg into a round hole it just kind of reiterated to me that sometimes to move forward you have to just throw out some of the past and just say you know what doesn't work Let's scrap it and, and maybe just starting completely anew. Even with the idea of fall, it should have just been scrapped completely. I think I would have been able to post a lot sooner if I had just let go of trying to tell a story within that week that I personally just didn't feel like telling. So it's a good lesson learned. This one, because I have a feeling towards it, I feel happy being out here and I want to convey a message. I think it's gonna be a lot easier for me to tell a story with it because it's a story I wanna tell. You see what this is, this is a part of it all Over and over, injustice to injury This is a part of it all Could you hike back to it, fight with it, sit with it This is a part of it all Ask around, be aware, make peace with what is there So it's a different day and we are back in my YouTube room and I wanted to go over a couple things before I end today's vlog. So over the past couple weeks I've been pretty much struggling in every aspect of my life. I've had a few blows to my heart as far as pumpkin my dog's well-being. I had a positive reinforcement of a negative thing happen and because my partner has been away I don't really have a support system that I can lean on when he's not around. On top of that I've been struggling with some imposter syndrome. I'm making these vlogs and trying to show you guys you can get better if there's some effort. This series was supposed to show that if you put some time and effort and research, you can get better at your skills. 
This is 100% true. The problem is, is that I'm feeling very stuck. I am starting to see a plateau in my ability to get better. That doesn't mean I'm not getting better. It just means I'm, it just means that I am so focused and so concentrated on the goal that I can't enjoy the moment at hand. I'd say about five episodes ago, I started running out of ideas, running out of motivation, and I've been kind of pushing myself forward while not enjoying the process. And that is because I want immediate results. I know that it takes like 2000 hours to get good or proficient at a skill. I couldn't tell you how many hours I put into trying to learn YouTube. It's been about 10 months, but learning YouTube is not a skill within its own. It is learning video editing. It is learning how to talk to a camera. It is learning how to get the shots, how to pause for an edit. If you are someone like me who constantly messes up while speaking <laughs> or loses their train of thought and, have, and has to come back to it. There's also learning thumbnails, keywords, titling, descriptions. I'm not saying YouTube is the hardest job in the world, it's not, but I am putting way too much pressure on myself to just be like the best one ever. And that's just, no one is, for one. Even the people who are super duper successful, I personally don't enjoy their content. So would that make them the best YouTuber ever or would that make them enjoyable to a large group of people? So I think we can all agree that I have completely lost my schedule for these 30 days of cinematic vlogging challenge. It is not sequential in the slightest. I have put in other videos in between them. I have gone a week without posting a cinematic vlog and I can officially say that the challenge is failed, but I am going to continue on with it. I'm just going to give myself the grace I need. Someone else may not need the same amount of grace, but I'm realizing I do. <laughs> I want to bring some fun back into this. I want to remember what my ultimate goal is, and that is to get better at making vlogs. I like vlog style content. I plan on taking you guys to a lot of places. And my ultimate goal is to be able to show you guys these things in a storytelling way that is, that is reflective of what I'm seeing and feeling at the moment and bring you guys into the moment with me. So maybe my style isn't going to be the greatest, but as long as it has heart in it, I think we're gonna be okay. In the meantime, I am going to live stream a little bit more. I'm gonna be spending some time researching places, storylines, and maybe that could be fun for some of you guys to see my process in real time, and also do video editing. Steven has bought me this lovely new monitor. This is my old one. I now officially have a two monitor setup, which means I am so professional. <laughs> so I am going to schedule a time to go live to do some research on what my next vlog should be, and hopefully you guys can join me if you're interested about that process. If not, the next one will be a complete surprise to you guys, and we all know how much I love a good surprise. That being said, I'm going to show you guys my end result and ask you, are you guys surprised by it? I'll see you guys later. Bye!